so now let's talk about permission sets all right so as of now what we've seen is any kind of configuration be it uh, showing or hiding layouts be, be it showing or hiding fields or be it giving permissions has been configured just by profiles right but if there's a use case wherein you have n number of users assigned to a single profile but only a few of them need a specific permission in that case we use a concept that's called permission set all right a good use case would be let's say you have the support manager profile here right the support manager profile might have hundreds of users okay and under one profile you could have hundreds of users using the support manager profile and they all would have the same kind of access based on the profile set, profile setup but what we want is we want two or three specific users or master users in this particular profile to have some additional access to some specific fields right or some specific use case they, they need to be provided some access that can be achieved by creating a permission set and assigning that permission set to them all right so i'll quickly log into the support manager guy and let's see how things look like for him so here if i got go to covid counts and if i just open any record let's see all records and let's open any record right so right now if you see i am able to see all of the fields let's say we remove the permission of the day category field from the profile level how do we do it we go to the system admin view go to object manager go to the particular object that's covid count go to fields and relationships and here what's the field that we want to remove the permission for that's day category right so under day category let's open the field you'll see some something like set field level security right so this field level security is used to configure profile level permissions now here if you see that we have provided visibility for this field for these two profiles all right let's say that the support manager profile should not be having access to the day category field at all okay i'll just remove the access here and now let's save it now once i save it and if i refresh my view as the support manager i won't be able to see the day category field correct let's refresh again or probably i'll just log out and log in one more time let's log out and log in one more time okay i'm still able to see it this is funny okay so i don't have access to it that's why it's showing as not editable right if i just remove it from the page layout it should go away as well okay so as you can see now i don't have access to the day category field okay but it's still showing on the page layout maybe some new update but i don't have access which is why it's not letting me make any changes you see this restricted sign which means now the support manager profile any and every user of the support manager profile won't be able to edit the day category field right and like we like i said there could be hundreds of users who are working as the support managers for for this particular use case the covid count tracking there could be hundreds of users but from all all those users we just want some of them to have access to the day category field like this user right here okay so how do we do this on the profile level if we show or hide permissions if we provide or you know remove permissions that that implies every user will get the same level of permissions but when it comes to user specific permissions we can create permission sets so if i just quickly type permission on the quick find box this permission set right here is the way to go i'll just go ahead and create a new permission set here okay okay i'm logged in as the support manager so you see i'm not letting the button to create a new permission set because i have to do it as the system administrator so let's go back to the system admin view let's go to home let's type in permission set and let's create a permission set here so there are already some permission sets that salesforce has provided based on its crm purpose so you would see something on the sales side of it service order management crm and all of it okay so based on the requirements of the crm application salesforce has themselves you know created some permission sets which they think would be necessary for sales and support applications to run for different users but if we don't need to use any of these we can go ahead and click on new and create our own custom permission set okay so i'll just create a permission set and i'll call it day category permission all right and here i'll just say that this is for the support managers only for the special support managers not all of them and now if you see that 
a permission set can be associated to a license now what does this mean this means that if you are sure this particular permission has to be leveraged by a specific kind of profile which is associated to a specific kind of license you can very well go ahead and just set the license here okay if you are not sure you can just keep it as none and you can assign this permission set to almost any and everybody okay so what is our support manager profiles license it is salesforce right so i'll just go ahead and select the salesforce license and now let's click on save all right so you see our permission set is created and this is moreover an enhanced view of all the permissions that you have on the profile level so all the permissions are available here also okay now what kind of permission do we want to give we want to assign the field level visibility right now where would the field level visibility visibility be shown it would be shown on the object settings right so here i'm on the permission set and here i go inside the object settings and you'll see that i sh should be able to provide permissions for every object that's there currently this permission set has no access for all the objects right but let's go ahead and just provide the access for the covid count object okay now let me just do a control find so this covid count right here has no access correct based on this permission set i'll just go to the object and once we open the object the entire permission snapshot opens up for that particular object so you see the tab setting the record type object level permission field level permission everything that the profile can hold the same things the permission set can also hold okay what i need to do i just need to click on edit and i just need to give the permission for the day category field right so let's scroll down and see where the day category field is this right here and you see this is this does not have read or edit access so i'll just give the access for read and edit okay this is what i'm giving through the permission set nothing else these are all from the profiles that's why you see it, it it's there already but what we are trying to give is the day category permission through the permission set let's click on save now i have a permission set that allows you to read and edit the day category field correct now let's go ahead and see how the support manager profile looks now if i go to this record and refresh will i be able to edit the day category now what do you think so you see i'm still not able to even though i created the permission set this means your permission set is created but this user has still not been assigned that permission set right so you'll have to go ahead and assign this permission set to a user just how you assign licenses and profile to a user you have to assign the permission set as well okay so i'll quickly go to profiles and here let's go to the support manager profile and let's go to view users okay so under view users if i just open a user you'll see that this user is given the salesforce license it has a profile it is associated to a role and it is also part of a public group that we created earlier right covid support warriors now what you can also do, do is you can assign a permission set so you see the first related option here that's the permission set assignment you can either uh, click directly on the edit assignment button here or you can also scroll down and this right here is the same same section okay edit assignments and now you'll see a list of permission sets coming in that you can drag from the left to the right which one is ours ours is the day category permission this right here right i'll just move it here and it is enabled and i'll click on save okay now as you'll notice you can assign multiple permission sets to a single user right so now if i were to tell you how many profiles can be assigned to a single user only one can be assigned how many licenses can be assigned only one what about roles you can have multiple roles but there, there would be the one role that would be the superior one which would be on the top of the hierarchy right what about permission sets you can have multiple permission sets right so this permission set assignment comes in handy when you have different use cases different business processes regard for which a particular user has to work on right so you don't want to provide all the permissions on the profile level rather you create a permission set for each module and just assign it to the relevant users make sense now that the permission set is assigned let's go back and see if he's able to edit the day category field or not i'm on the covid count record let's click on edit here it's still not editable let me log out and log in okay i think i know what has happened so maybe we made the field read only on the page layout that's why it's showing as read only so you see if i go to the object manager and if i go to the covid count i believe so that the field has been marked read only that's why it's not letting us change it let's see just let's check it once and then we'll go back to the view so let's see the page layout assignment so for the support manager profile 
the delta variant two layout because we just have given the delta variant two record type access. So let's click this on click on this layout. And here, if we see the day category, okay, it's not marked read only. Let's go ahead and create a new record then. Let's go ahead and log in. Let's create a new record. So you see, I'm able to edit it, right? I'm able to edit it and I'm able, able to read it also, right? So this is how your field level permission has been provided through permission sets, okay? I believe this particular record is a Delta variant one record, maybe. That's why it's, uh, you know, a read only one. Let's, let me check the other layout also. Let's go ahead and check the other layout. Just to be sure or else, you know, this is weird behavior. Delta variant one layout. Uh, if I go to the day, yeah, this is the layout that we are viewing. And if I just check, okay, this is also not read only, which means they should be fine. Let me now try to open that record. Yeah, now I'm able to edit it. See, so it takes some time to reflect sometimes, but but it's reflecting now, so it's well and good. All right. So this was about permission sets.